So we're going to start, uh, I'm going to continue from where I le left off last time. So last time I had this, I had name, name field, exit button. So again, just to show you, it looked like this. This is where we left off. What I'm going to do today is make an, the exit button active, and then I'm going to show you how to make a clear button. Okay, so to make the exit button active, next to JFrame, you put implements action listener. Uh, import the action listener. For a second, ignore the underscore uh, under example, the red line. So down here at the J button, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say exit button. Now I have to make the button active. Di add action listener. This. So now the button is active. I've implemented the action listener so the computer knows what to do. And then there's one final step. Uh, sorry. I mean Java. I said that wrong anyway. Import. So if you go on to example, there's a red line underneath it, which usually means there's an error. Now if you hover over it, hover over it, the top one says add unimplemented methods. So if you click on that, you don't see much change. There is obvious, obviously gone away, so they've added the implemented methods. And you go down here, and it wrote public void, action performed, action event E. So here's where actually you will write all of the information of what will happen when the exit button is hit. So inside the method action performed, write string word equals. Okay, so what's going to happen is you're going to click on the you're going to click on the exit button, and it's going to send this word over, and it's going to get caught in this parameter as the letter E. What you type here is e dot get action command. So that e knows to go get this word and save it right here as that variable string, that variable called word. And then what you want to do is you want to check if word dot equals exit. Well, what do you want it to do? Well. If typically a button called exit, you would like the program to exit out. So you type system.out system.exit system.out, that's it. Uh, no, no, it's exit, sorry, exit zero. And this is how you make the button active. So now what happened was, okay, I implemented the action listener I went and made the button active. Then I used the add unimplemented methods right down here. And then once I did that, I was like, okay, the word exit gets sent over as E, get action command, and I save it as word. And I check, okay, is word equal to exit? Yes, I want you to exit out. So now when I make this, if you click on the button exit, now it exits out. Let's make another button. J button, clear button, equals new J button, clear. Okay, I want the I want the clear button to be active, so clear button dot add action listener this add clear button. So what that's going to do is that's going to add a, what I'm calling the clear button, but it's only going to say the word clear on the screen. It's active, so actually I could write some code down here so it will do something. And then the add actually adds it onto the screen. So if I look, there's an exit button and a clear button. And the clear button, you click on it, nothing happens because I've written the code to tell anything to occur here. So I hit exit. Now down here, I want else if word dot equals, well this one I want to write it for when they click on the clear button. So clear. Make sure you spell it exactly the same. So if you misspell the word clear up here, 
If you misspell the word clear in line 32, you have to misspell it down here. However you capitalize it up there, you need to capitalize it down here. So now the clear button, what I wanted to do is take whatever's in the text field and wipe it out. And wipe it out. So to do this, I need to show you something. Right now, JLabel is a local variable, meaning I declared one label right here. So it's only used between these two brackets. So I can only use it between these two brackets. Problem is, I want to use that label down here. So when I hit clear, not the label, sorry, the text field, I want to clear it down here. So this, this text field's only a local variable up here. Well, to make it a global variable, I'm going to copy it, Command C. I'm going to paste it right above public static void. So now it's a global variable for the entire program to see. Now I'm going to stress something, something valuable here. You cannot have a variable declared globally and locally. So if you make it global, make sure you go back, as I am doing right here, and delete it from being a local variable. A lot of odd mistakes will occur if you do that. So now name field is a global variable. So what I do is down here, name field dot set text. I'm going to show you something first before I make it actually clear. I could type whatever I want in here. So if I type uh, Tom Brady. So when I hit the clear button, what it's going to do is it's going to go down here to clear. It's going to go, okay, this is a text field. Name, name field's a text field. Okay, what do I want to do? I want to set the text to whatever this is. So ready? If I run this now, my name, if I hit clear, it says Tom Brady. I put in here William. I hit clear. It wipes it out and puts Tom Brady. No matter what I do, Hit clear, it'll put Tom Brady because it's always going to set the text to Tom Brady. Now, if I wanted it to be a true clear button, I would just get rid of Tom Brady and put in empty quotation marks. So now if I run it, hit clear, name is gone. I can type now William. Hit clear. Hit exit, and it's gone. So that's how we make buttons active.